So, all right, you almost can't turn on the news these days without hearing how devastating the drought is. Most of the country, especially the Midwest, has been hit hard, and now it is all starting to affect each and every one of us. In fact, if you haven't noticed this at the grocery store already, you will very soon because a lot of things that we buy every single day are about to get a lot more expensive. News 13's David Romero is live in a newsplex with more. Good morning, David. Good morning, Matt. Pains at the pump now. Pains buying groceries. Where will it end? The blame for this hike lies with Mother Nature. It's being called one of the worst droughts in decades. Dozens of crops drying up from lack of water and too much heat. The cost of grain in the last two months has gone up about 30 percent. Uh, hay in the last year has gone, has doubled in price. Uh, so there's definitely a lot of pressure on the meat industry. With field corns and soybeans affected, this trickles down into food and fuel increases, grain prices hitting record highs. Those field corns go to feed livestock and are some of the ingredients and foods that we buy off the shelves. Soybeans are usually found in oil and salad dressings. Now, even if rain falls in the coming weeks, the lasting effects of poor crops may be seen in grocery stores for a while. If the crop in the Midwest turns out well, that'll help. If next year's crop is good, that'll help. Uh, but until then, until the weather changes enough to give us some relief, it's going to be hard. The only relief that could come in the following months is that the price of meat will likely fall because of farmers having to kill off livestock. It's just too expensive to feed the animals. Grocery prices are likely to climb steadily over the next couple of months. To give you an idea of how the price of corn has climbed, reports from the U.S. Department of Agriculture show that a bushel of corn was just under $6 early last month. It's now getting close to 8 bucks a bushel now. Matt, back to you. Uh, it's not good news this morning. Thank you for the heads up on that, David. We'll get a better idea of just how devastating this drought is when the USDA releases its new report sometime soon. And just to give you some perspective on this, this is the worst and the biggest drought in the U.S. in the last 60 years. In fact, 70% of the Corn Belt is in some kind of a drought situation right now. Yeah, crops right now are at a record high, including corn and soybeans. Yeah, wheat is at a four-year high, and unfortunately, the National Weather Service, I checked with them this morning, they say drought not going to get any better for at least another week or two. It's not good.